Hello once again everybody, welcome back to Full Play Games. My name is Tom and this is Train Sim World 3. So this is now going to be my second attempt at recording this video. <laughs> uh, long story short, the uh, it went into the, the train I was driving, accidentally went into an emergency brake and it wouldn't get moving again afterwards. No idea why. No idea why. So just have to start again. So, uh, yeah, last time, that's what we're doing now. <laughs> yeah, um, we did a, <clears throat> excuse me, I've I've been thrown off by uh, the failure in the, uh, trying to record this video last time. So in my last video, we played a German route and the safety systems on that train gave us a bit of problems. And because I'm uh, re-recording this video, because the safety systems on the other uh, train gave me problems. As you can see, it was the Peninsula Corridor. Uh, we came over here. It was Californian Commuter we decided to do. Just a, a fairly short one. Relatively easy. Except the brakes are... Well, not unusual. They're, uh, they're fairly common type of brakes, but they're non-intuitive. Uh, we'll see why. So yeah, we had a quick look at these. This was uh, this is going to be a very interesting route, but that'll take some time. So we'll do Californian commuter. And one thing I mentioned last time is I always see this picture in loading screens. Do they have any other pictures? And also, is this is perfect for the. Um, uh, <laughs> for the thumbnail, this is perfect for the thumbnail. Look at the look at the plane in the sky. Okay, that's fine. So we do have a timetable to keep. So uh, we shouldn't hang around so much. Come on, close the door. There we go. In the engineer's seat. Uh, need to unlock the doors on the right. Uh, one thing I did mention in the last video, um, in the video I'm now re-recording, is um, uh, I don't really know how to turn motion blur off. In the previous versions there was a button for it, it was just one of the F buttons. But it doesn't seem to work in this one. And I've gone through the settings and I can't find a setting for motion blur either. It might be under post-processing. I don't know. I'm going to have to do some more research online to try and find out. But anyway, we're here. Uh, just waiting for passengers to load. Now, one, one thing I was having a little whinge about is the fact that the platforms on in America are so low. I mean, right here. And then you've got all those steps to climb up to get in. How is that good for disabled passengers? Why can't you just make the platform the same level as the interior of the um, of the train? So, ready to depart. Waiting for the pressure to raise up, and there we go. Brake cylinder coming down. Add a few notches of throttle, and we're off. At least we should be. There we go. <laughs> now we won't put too much throttle on until we get moving because that overloads the engine. You can see the amp meter there. It's still in the green, but it's not far away from the red. It's not far away from the red, but it is dropping. See, so if we put two more notches on, we've got another two still to put on, but we're a bit too close to the red line there. And another thing that becomes obvious as we go along is that I don't work well in feet. You see, our, date, our uh, destination at the moment is 3.9 miles away. Now that's perfectly fine. I have an idea of how far away that is. I'm British and we use miles to measure speed when in cars on the road and distances between cities and stuff. 
So that's fine. I have an understanding of how far four miles is. The only problem is that it seems to switch very quickly to thousands of feet. We can uh, put a couple more notches of power on because the speed limit is 75. Now when we got into San Mateo we were about a minute, a minute and a half late which by the railway in Britain standards isn't late it's on time <laughs> I don't know how they can call it on time when you're like two minutes late but there we are I guess I have tighter standards for timekeeping than uh, than uh, British Rail does so we're three miles away um, I was saying in the other one that I would do something about slowing down and putting brakes on when we got to about one and a half miles away. But I think it was about two miles that it switched to something like 8,000 feet. Why? Why use feet, a relatively small unit of measure, for a distance that's really still quite long? It's like when Americans use pounds for measuring stuff that's in the range of tons. It's like, this car is 4,000 pounds. How many tons is that, mate? <laughs> oh, this truck is carrying 40,000 pounds. Really? Um, how much is that, exactly? There we go, it's 9,000 feet. I don't know how far that is. I can't conceptualise a a, a big number of small units like that. So it's time to come off the throttle. That's all fine. So with the brakes, it's currently released. You've got the holding position, which holds the brake, uh, the brake pressure. You've got lap, which does the same as far as I can tell. And then you've got service, which applies it. But it applies it for how long you hold it there. And then it, it's still there because we're in that. No, oh, other way. Oh, I almost went into emergency again. Is that holding? What's happened there? Oh, it's happened again. Oh, this stupid fucking drain. Oh, no, no. No, we're fine. We're fine. Ah. <sighs> you see, in the last time, I accidentally put... Um, I accidentally put it into emergency. And it wouldn't let me put the power back on. See, right now, you see, I'm on power of eight. But I've, I've got amps. I'm producing amps going to the wheels pushing me forward, that's fine. Ah. Okay, so there we are. It's about 2,000 feet away. So holding, lap. So I want about 15 on the brake cylinder. So lap, service, go back to lap. And it's about 12, so service, lap. That's a little bit too much. Well, it's too much for what I said, but now we're a bit closer. So we need a bit more. Okay, release that now. <laughs> we came in a little bit hard. See, you don't set it to, like, break one, break two, break three in increasing brake force. No, it doesn't work like that really doesn't work like that. It's just, it's tricky. It's tricky to get your head around. Okay, so we're two carriages away from the end. Holding, lap, service. Service, there we go. 
I'll just keep it in service and that will put the brakes all the way on. Ah, we're near enough. Put it back on the lap. San Mateo and Hillsdale stations allow workers to commute to and from many office headquarters of some well-known businesses. And I remember last time it didn't give me enough time to read that either. How are we doing for time? We are a lot better than last time. <laughs> we are at least within a minute of our arrival time. And given all of that, I can't actually remember when we came in. When did we actually stop? I don't know. Well, there's our... <laughs> there's our doorway. I'll stay here until it's time to uh, close the doors. Let's have a little look down there. How are we doing at the back, anyway? Oh, we're fine. Look at that. The back one's still on the platform. We're okay. That's perfectly within the realms of acceptability in my book. <laughs> Punctuality may be a bugbear, but stopping, accuracy, that's yeah, fine. I wouldn't be a train driver in uh, Japan, for instance. Oh, jeez. That's a hell of a message. Anyway, let's release the brakes. We are now officially further into this than we were last time. So Hillsdale is 2.5 miles away. Quick look on that, let's see. Well, release the mouse, there we go. So we've got Hillsdale, San Carlos, Redwood City. Okay, we've got a few. We need to get there at 6.25. It's got another 10 minutes to go. A bit more throttle. To line the camera better with where we're going. There we are. Leave that down there. Ah. Right, a bit of practice, and we're all good. Full power. Oh, it's just just nudging the red there. <laughs> That's good. You don't want it to wheel spin, you don't want to overload the engine either. That's fine. Oh, I think we can just sit here and have a nice little a nice little ride. Just sit back and relax. So my current plan right now is around about 3,000 or 4,000 feet. Stick it onto around about 15 on the brake cylinder. There's no point really keeping the, uh, the throttle on anymore. It's not accelerating particularly quickly anyway. We're going to have to get rid of all that speed. Uh, so... We're approaching there, let's get us into lap so that we're ready. 4,000 might be a bit far away actually. Three and a half, we'll do three and a half and see how we go. <laughs> uh, we can always come off and coast it in a bit later. Six and five, service. The problem is it doesn't... The problem is sometimes you're in service mode and then you tap back but it doesn't go all the way into lap. So 2,000 feet, 40 miles an hour. That's not bad, that's not bad. We are at precisely 15. I think it's PSI on the brake cylinder. 
that's not bad at all. Maybe a little bit on the slow side, but we'll we'll see what happens. Yeah, just a smidge. Release the brakes now and uh, coast in the rest of the way. But that's not far off. I think if um, if we'd gone into lap when we wanted to, that would have been fine. So there's... See if we can push it a little bit further. Right on lap, that's enough. Beautiful! Um, t two minutes late, but beautiful. <laughs> As I said, two minutes late, that's perfectly acceptable in the UK. It shouldn't be, but it is perfectly acceptable in the UK. It takes a long time for passengers to get on and off, doesn't it? Are you giving them an entire minute? <laughs> well, it seems like it, doesn't it? Come on, I'm running late. And then we've got to wait for that stupid announcement because people don't realise doors might shut. And release the brake. Just wang it into four, let's get this thing moving. Uh, we're supposed to be there in 30 seconds. <laughs> bit more. A bit more? Is that too much? No, that's too much. <laughs> yeah, we're supposed to be there in, uh, in 15 seconds. If you know a way of travelling three miles in 15 seconds, I'd love to hear it. <laughs> oh dear. Will it handle eight? It appears to. Lovely. Lovely. We're at full power. 2.7 miles away. Should be there by now, but we are not. So it'll take at least three or four minutes to get there at this rate. I mean, you can tell that this is a converted freight train. Because it is slow as hell. It pulls, but it, it does not have acceleration. Not the way European trains do. <laughs> the 0 to 60 time is shocking. That's 1.9. 1.9 miles. That's when it trips over to 10,000 feet. Okay, I can work with that. I can, I can ready reckon with that now. You're looking at around about 5,000 feet a mile then. It's a little bit more, but that's... That's fine, that's fine. I can work with an approximation. Okay, we're coming up to two minutes behind schedule. Probably looking at about three. Three and a half, possibly four. Let's come off the throttle now. We're at 75. 4,000 away. 
3.5 Holding lap Service Come off See, again Too much Well, we'll see where that leaves us Actually, we are moving quite fast here There we go is that that's like right that's right here we're moving far too fast why's the brake cylinder gone zero what on earth is going on with the brakes <laughs> okay fine fine I'll live with it um, I've got one one carriage that's not in the platform but hey fine who cares we're here <sighs> is that it now are we fine no, Redwood City, 625. Okay. How far away is that? It, it never says. It never gives you the right sort of information. Come on, passengers. We're running late. You should all be there on the platform, ready to hop on. This is a commuter service, you know. <laughs> it should be quick in stations. Release that. Notch four. Brakes are released. Power's going on. Give it an extra notch. Extra one. Oh, that's just enough. <laughs> ah. Right, 2.2 .2 miles away. In 15 seconds. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, an extra couple of notches. Yeah, we'll fit there. Right. Right. So maybe I, my idea of 15 on the brake cylinder wasn't quite right. It's, the problem is, it seems to put um, a dynamic brake on as well, and then come off the come off the brake cylinder. So I'm trying to gauge how much force I'm putting into my into my brakes, but it keeps messing with them. It keeps saying, actually, no, we won't put it on this setting. We'll. We'll transfer some of that over to the to the dynamic brake. Which makes it very difficult to judge how how much brake force you've got going on. It's got yellow in three four thousand feet. We're stopping in six and a half thousand anyway. Yeah, let's not be too let's not be too heavy with the the throttle. Holding lap service. There we go, that worked because I pressed the key firmly and for not just a quick tap. So that puts us on 14. There's our yellow signal. Still doing 50 miles an hour. Fine. You see our brake cylinder is now 13, but we've we've got some amps coming through the dynamic brake. But I want to know what what setting is that? Now 2,000 feet away doing 33 miles an hour. Let's keep it here, shall we? 
see we're slowing down so the dynamic brake isn't producing as many amps as before so the brake cylinder should start going back up again we are actually fairly uh, going fairly slowly now come off the brakes and we'll just coast it in we are indeed two and a half minutes late it'll probably be three by the time we stop <laughs> ah well two and a half minutes isn't that bad really If your commute to work is timed so two and a half minute delay is uh, is too much, then you really need to sort things out. Let's see how close do we get. 27 feet. That's fine. By government test our climate is best. What on earth are you on about? Well, I will, once you uh, tell me to unlock the doors. <laughs> ah, well, this is our last stop, so uh, let's have a quick look. Yeah, we're fine. Here we are. Lots of space at the end of the platform. I don't think you'd get another car on the back of this thing, but still. bike car? Oh I see you put bikes down here do you? Nice to see that all that space is being used <laughs> Oh come on, will you load already? Well I'll tell you one thing, at least we got to our destination okay this time <laughs> Oh that was a farce That was an absolute farce do I have to close the doors now? Oh, this is just going to be it now, isn't it? Is that heat shimmer or something? It's all, all shimmering out there. Okay, message, you can go away. End of the scenario, there we are. <laughs> so, yes, that's where our, our little problem with the brakes happened. Yeah. See, we never really managed to reach it we did at this point but it took us a while that's what happens when we coast and then that's the break so we weren't that we weren't that bad that was well off that was okay that was way off <laughs> anyway um it's a silver it's fine i'll take it whatever no no i'll just go back i'll just go back so, that's it for this time. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.